Urbanization is now rapidly transforming our landscape to meet the growing population of citizens. More and more different types of buildings are erected everywhere, contributing to environmental pollution through energy consumption and waste generation. This is where the concept of sustainable urbanization emerged to preserve our nature, where the building service technology not only provides comfort to building users, but also creates a sustainable, vibrant, and creative city. In this video, we will explore the innovative application of building service technology that are shaping the cities of tomorrow. Our chosen building to be studied is the Empire Shopping Gallery, which is located at Subang Jaya. It is a stylish shopping destination with over 180 splendid stores featuring modern and bright architecture. Starting with the usage of automated doors and various entrances of the mall, they can effectively contribute to energy saving as they open only when activated and automatically close when not in use. This prevents unnecessary air exchange between conditioned indoor spaces and the outside environment and maintains the air temperature inside the building. Energy waste is minimized and the cost of annual heating and cooling is reduced. Now let's have a look at the components which aid human flow in a building, which is the escalator and elevator. This building has escalators with radar sensors. The radar sensors detect the presence of people approaching the escalator. By using this information, the escalator activates only when someone is nearby thus reducing unnecessary energy consumption during periods of low or no usage. This is very useful as not every single time the mall is crowded with people. Some areas also have low flow of people, for example, the lowest basement parking floor. If an escalator keeps on running for 14 hours a day, 6 days a week, it will consume almost 7,500 kilowatt hours of electricity in a year. So, imagine the power it can save by just having a radar sensor. The elevator used here is also eco-friendly. The wall of the lift is made out of glass which allows light from the outside to pass through. Not only does it provide aesthetic value, it also reduces the need of constant lighting inside the cabin, reducing energy consumption in the long run. We notice that the elevator is machine roomless, meaning that it utilizes a gearless traction machine located in a hoistway which has replaced a traditional machine room. It not only saves 10% of the building area, but also up to 25% of the electricity as it reduces the need for additional power to run a machine room with heating and cooling needs. Besides, it is adapted with regenerative drive systems. These systems capture and convert the energy generated when the elevator decides. The electricity is then fed back into the building's power grid to be used to power other electrical loads within the building. By regenerating and reusing this energy, MRL elevator reduces the overall energy demand and improves efficiency of the building. Apart from that, the HVAC system for the mall is categorized as variable air volume. The dampers are modulated to adjust the air volume delivered to each zone based on individual temperature requirements. By varying the damper position, the system can supply more or less air to different areas maintaining comfort and energy efficiency. When an area has little crowd, less heat is generated from human bodies. Therefore, the amount of cool air supply is reduced, saving more energy for the building. Through our site visit guided by the facility manager, the mall also utilizes water cool chillers for their HVAC system. It has many benefits to the environment as well as it solely relies on water as a cooling medium. It operates by circulating chill water to absorb heat from the surrounding environment. The heat absorbed by the water is then transferred to a cooling tower, where it is dissipated through splashing from a height and evaporating means. The chiller's cooling cycle does not involve the burning of fuel or release of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide directly. Besides, water is an effective cooling agent as it has high specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity. We also observe that the centralized air conditioning system is run by York. It can be considered reliable as York uses advanced technologies, leading engineering and sustainable manufacturing in their products to increase efficiency and save more energy. Some lighting in this building is programmed to automatically activate at a predetermined time, usually at night time. 
Since the building incorporates a glass roof to allow natural sunlight to enter, it reduces the need for additional lighting at roof level. However, at night, more lighting is needed to light up the spaces. Here is a comparison of daytime and nighttime of this building. It can be seen that the light only activates at night time. This prevents unnecessary energy consumption during daylight hours, contributing to cost saving and environmental sustainability. It is important to note that having low energy consumption indirectly leads to protecting the environment. When energy consumption is reduced, the demand for energy decreases, leading to a lower need for power generation. In Malaysia, the main energy source to generate electricity is coal, which emits carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases when burned for energy production. These greenhouse gases are harmful and cause climate change. Hence, by adopting eco-friendly building services, we can move towards a more sustainable future, reducing carbon emissions, conserving resources, and even creating healthier buildings that benefit both the environment and the people who inhabit them. Our planet, our responsibility. Thank you for watching. Bye.